my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be baking! <laughs> and by baking, we are not baking the cake. We are gonna be baking my face. I'm gonna be giving you guys a baking one-on-one class with me and showing you how I bake and set my face and pretty much how to get everything I have right now. It's one of the steps that I never skip because I'm very big on my makeup lasting longer, looking amazing, and not caking at all. That's exactly what that does for your entire face and your under eyes. I mean, we're looking snatched right now. Yesterday, I went to a baking 101 class with Laura Mercier and Desi, and we actually got to bake cakes. It was super, super cute. I actually have my cake right here. I wanna show you guys. It's, uh, it got a little ruined in transit, but, I think I did pretty good, you know? I think I'm better at baking my face than I am baking a cake, but it's actually not that bad. It was so much fun baking these cakes and doing that class with them. So really inspired today's video on giving you guys the 101 on this beat down right here. And today's video is in partnership with Laura Mercier, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve it all with their translucent setting powder. If you guys are new to this technique, wanna learn my technique, or just feel like watching, continue watching, grab your products out so you can follow along, and let's get started. But before we do, I think we need to cut this cake. I really wanna show you guys how it looks inside. But I'm also kinda because I don't think you guys understand what's gonna happen. Hold on. How do we not mess this up? Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Yay! Ow! Isn't that so cute? It's a piñata cake! I think it's safe to say that I'm better in the makeup industry, so let's just jump into today's video. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is moisturize your skin. This is a very important step into having a really beautiful, long-lasting base throughout the entire day. So I'm gonna be using this one from Peter Thomas Roth, and it is their Water Drench Hyaluronic Acid Cloud Cream. This is a really great daytime moisturizer that adds tons of moisture to the skin, really feels weightless on. And I love the instant glow that it gives the skin as well. It just really gets your skin looking amazing. The next step you're going to want to do is go in with your favorite primer. Now, this all really is going to depend on what kind of skin type you have. I'm on the more normal to dry skin type. Right now, my skin's actually doing pretty good. It's not as dry as usual. So for that reason, I'm going to be going in with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. So I pretty much start this off right on my T-zone and nose area. And then from there, with whatever's left, I just kind of run it through my entire face. Since I apply makeup everywhere. I'm gonna go now and press it into the skin. And at first, this does feel really sticky. It's like a kind of funky feeling. But I actually don't mind that stickiness. I feel like that's what's going to grip onto all the products and really hold everything on. And last for skincare, we're gonna be adding some eye cream on. This is something that you do not want to skip ever. Ever, 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 ever. Especially if you're gonna be doing any kind of baking underneath of your eyes, you really wanna make sure that you hydrate your under eye area. It's a really delicate part, and it's something that you need to give love to it before you apply any makeup or any products on. So for that reason, I go in with a very hydrating eye cream, and obviously I've been using this banana and bright eye cream for so long now. So I like to just simply tap it right into this area. But what this is doing too is creating a barrier so everything just sits on a better surface. It's going to prevent it from any kind of makeup cracking as well. And overall, just make this area look beautiful and smooth. So next, I'm going to be going in with my foundation. And I always do my foundation before I do my concealer. I like to correct any areas I have first. And then from there, I bring in my concealer to brighten up the areas and bring everything to light. So I'm going to be taking in my Hourglass Vanish Liquid Foundation in the shade Golden. It's super full coverage, so you just need two pumps, probably even like one and that is it and I love to apply this on with a kabuki brush I find it to go on just to see but I like to pretty much just pounce this onto the skin before moving in with a beauty blender so now that the foundation has worked into the skin with the brush I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty blender and what I'm doing now is picking up the excess amount of foundation that was on the back of the hand not really to add more product but just to kind of work it into the beauty blender so that it works better when I use it on my face and then now I'm simply just going to press it over everything I just applied this is really just kind of locking it all down to ensure that the foundation stays does not move um, if for any reason there was any kind of brush strokes on the face it's gonna diminish it immediately for me you guys can be pressing a lot right here because this is where I have a ton of my freckles because I like them to be gone we're gonna go ahead and just push it at least you like so many hand movements all right, foundation looks good, it looks even, it matches. All right, so now that my foundation is laid down on my face, we're gonna move straight into concealer. And I recommend grabbing a medium to full coverage concealer. It's truly what's gonna make everything just pop, come forward, and stand out. I figured since we're gonna be baking with the Laura Mercier Transistent Powder, let's go ahead and use the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. And I use a shade 2W, which is about 
two to three shades lighter than me. So the way I like to use concealer is by applying it to the areas that I want to come forward. So for me, it's always gonna be in my chin area. And you can see I just kinda add a little bit right there, a little bit underneath of my nose. And right here, I talked about this to you guys before, how I always brighten underneath of the nose area because I find myself kind of darkening in that spot. And then of course, down the bridge of the nose, you know, we gotta make it look a little slimmer. Ooh. And then next underneath of the eyes. You see, without it being blended, it already made a pretty big difference. So now I'm gonna go in and start just kind of blending out the concealer by using a damp beauty blender. And you can see all I'm doing is just pushing the product into the skin versus going back and forth. If you are sweeping, you're gonna be lifting off the product and that goes for powders and any kind of cream products. So it's very important that you press into the skin so that it can stay there and that it all just kind of melts together. Now, a little information about this concealer, it is a 15 hour long wearing concealer that is wet and humidity resistant, transfer and water resistant, 15 hour wear. I don't know if I already said that, but I'll tell you guys again, it's a 15 hour wear, so it does last a very long time. It doesn't oxidize either, which is a major plus. So around the nose area, I like to go in with a small brush and all I'm doing is just kind of like pressing and tapping it on. Again, we are not going back and forth or lifting. It's really all about the touch that you do on there. And then we're gonna now just kind of tap into the nose. So coverage is on point, it looks really nice, but I do think I wanna go just a tad bit brighter. So for that reason, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Light 18. It's pretty much just going to smile and just kind of hit areas I want to be just a little brighter. And I know seeing all these products go on can be kind of a little cringy if you're not wearing a lot of makeup or mixing too many products. Once I set everything, it all blends together and it really doesn't look like I have on multiple products. At the end of the makeup, I want a wow factor of wow, that looks really nice. Your skin looks good. It's really nice when someone says your eye makeup, your makeup looks bomb, but I love hearing wow, your skin looks bomb because that's, that's what we want, you know? We want to hear that. And the last cream product I'm going to be using on my skin is going to be the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Chestnut. I use this all the time. It's one of my favorites. But I love this to give your skin a really nice natural bronze finish. I think about mixing different textures of creams. It looks so beautiful. So for that reason, I'm going to be using this one. And don't worry, guys. If you are like, whoa, this is a lot of creams. I've never used that many creams in my life. After I do this, you're going to see how it's all going to set and stay and like not move at all. So I like to pick this up with a traditional blush brush. And this one is the Morphe Y5. And I like to just kind of work it into the brush, slash into my hand. And then from there, I'm just going to kind of apply this on as if it were bronzer. And because my hair is up, we are just going to tap back into my hairline. Let's be real, my head is like really pale, so this is a must. And then now we're gonna work this along the cheekbone area. Maybe I meet you in my next life, baby. What did you do last week? What did you? All right, so next we're gonna get into the best part of this makeup and it is setting everything down. It's actually the most important step of this makeup because if you're gonna be out and about and you're gonna be taking photos, you're gonna be out all day, you're getting married, whatever you're going to, this is something that you do not want to skip. Seriously, the biggest game changer of my makeup that I have done, if I think about how my makeup used to look before I started setting, five, six years ago, it was a hot mess. At the end of a work shift, it would look like I was out all day, day drinking, and then I'm home and that's just how I come. And I feel like that's very frustrating because you do want your makeup to last all day, look good, and I swear to you guys, ever since I've incorporated the setting and baking technique, I never have that issue anymore. I don't even bring a touch-up powder anywhere I go. I never touch up throughout the day. Everything really just sets, and I really have to give a round of applause to the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I've seen this for so long. It's one of my ride or die products. If you guys use this, you know what's up. You know it's good stuff, it's worth it. It's one of the best out there. So I'm gonna show you guys how I put it on and give you guys all the needs you need to know about it. So I use it in the original transition shade and what's great about this color is that it works for light medium and tan skin tones and they also have it available in translucent medium deep which works great for medium deep and deepest skin tones so the way I like to do it is apply it onto onto the cap just and then kind of just work off of this 
So I used to use the Beauty Blender with it, which works really nice, but once I started using the Powder Puff after going to one of Mario's classes and watching Desi's video on this, I literally live for this one. Occasionally, if I'm being lazy and I can't find this, I will grab my Beauty Blender, but this is like the ultimate tool that you have to use when applying this. So what I like to do is just kind of dip it into the product. And you can see I kind of just lightly squeeze it in there and then tap off the excess amount. And then from there, I'm gonna press underneath my eyes where I really want to set and bake. Now, what I love about this too is that it's not cakey either. So you don't have to worry about it caking up throughout the day. You can see I'm just pressing it very lightly on there, not putting too much pressure on and just using the tip of the puff. And then from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of my skin with this. So now what I'm gonna do is open it back up and then now just kind of start setting the rest of my makeup. This is going to make my makeup last all day, honestly, minimum 12 hour wear. Get zero flashback with this as well, which is a reason why it's also one of my favorites because I'm taking photos and selfies all day. I don't want to have to worry about any kind of flashbacks. So now what I'm doing is just pressing this into the forehead area very, very lightly. And I'm just making sure I have no shine anywhere. And then that is pretty much it. So again, it looks a little crazy at first, but once you blend it out, it gives a super soft, blurred, very airbrush finish to the skin. And in addition, it's not gonna look cakey at all. It's really gonna blur a lot of fine lines, any imperfections you may have, and just make your skin look flawless. So what I'm gonna do is just go in with some of my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I do a little bit of contouring on my nose. And I'm just gonna be taking in this brush from Sigma and taking it along the sides. So that's all I do right there. And then next, I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow and finish off my under eyes. I'm using today the Natasha Denona Biba palette, and I'm gonna be using the shade Buff, which is that peach shade you guys see right there, and it's what I have on my lid. And I'm just gonna be adding a little bit of this underneath. Gone are the days when eyeshadow gets stuck to our under eyes. I feel like it's also a benefit of using a translucent powder is that if that does happen, you can just dust it away. I feel like before I learned how to set, everything would just get stuck and it gets stuck in any kind of small fine lines. It was just a mess back then. Keeping it pretty soft under there today. And that is it. So now I'm gonna go in with a small brush and lightly press and dust away. This is a really important step when removing off any of the excess powder that may be on the skin. You don't wanna entirely lift everything off. You wanna just kind of push and then from there, dust away any of the excess amount. So I start right here and then I just lightly just flick. So next we're gonna set the skin with a setting spray. Now to me, this is a must to kind of lock everything in, especially since we're gonna be layering a few more powders on the skin. So I'm gonna be using in the Lancome Fix It Forget It 24 hour setting spray. And I'm pretty much just going to go down the face. And then from there, get my fan out and then fan my face. So you don't have to do this, but I do find it to make a pretty big difference if you are gonna be working with a few more powders after this. So next, I'm going in with this blush from Cover Effects, and it is called Warm Honey. It's a beautiful, beautiful blush color that I think will look so good against this whole look and this eye makeup. So I'm gonna be applying this on with a small brush and then just hitting the apples of my cheeks. And then again, we're just gonna set the skin one more time. And lastly for my skin, we're gonna be applying on some highlight. Of course, we cannot miss it. You guys already see I got the glow on the body. And in case you're wondering what I'm using, it is another Laura Mercier product and it is their Addiction Highlight. I literally just drenched my skin in this earlier today, but um, this is a highlight we're gonna be using and we're gonna be pretty much tapping this on the high points of my face. So again, I always like to just, oh, oh, makes me so happy. So I always hit my forehead. I always have to have a strong forehead glow. And then of course the cheeks. And then I could just slightly kind of swirl it into right there. I love it on the chin area. And then lastly, set the skin one last time to bond all the powder particles together for a second skin finish. So I'm just gonna spray down. Woo, fan yourself. Ta-da! You cannot forget a little under eye mascara. This is the Lancome Monsieur Big. Love this because it does not transfer either. Everything we're wearing today is transfer resistant. It does not move, it doesn't 
doesn't budge at all. Nothing will budge in this video. And we cannot forget lip color. So today we're gonna be using the Kat Von D Lolita along with the MAC Mahogany Lip Pencil. This is like a perfect combo to complement this whole look. And that is it guys, here is a finished look on this makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth baking 101, how to get this face, how to make it last all day, and how to look snatched. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Also let me know if you guys love the translucent powder and the way you guys like to use it. Do you guys do it the same way I do? I always love getting feedback and knowing different versions of how to apply it on. So with that being said guys, have a fabulous day and I will see you guys in the next video, bye.